Hello Aquarius, welcome to your overview for 2023. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. Now, a couple of things that I want to add to my spiel is one, there is construction happening next door. You will hear a drill. I truly apologize. I will have no peace till this house is built. <laughs> Secondly, every sign is hearing this from me and it is a speech that I really did not want to give in any of my videos, but I have to. Aquarius, I've been working incredibly hard on this channel and I, for some reason, the YouTube algorithm hates me, all right? It is not recommending my videos. They're not even showing up in search results, right? And I promise you, I have done everything right when it comes to my settings and keywords and analytics and all of that. Um, things were going fine, but suddenly there's just a dip. So uh, I do know that the people that these videos are reaching are liking the content, all right? They are interacting with it, but they're just not reaching enough people. And I do want to dive into that collective consciousness, which you as an Aquarius, I'm sure will understand. Um, so as, as much as I hate to be one of those readers asking for views and likes and all of that, I have to say it because I'm doing this for a living and it is a little disheartening when, you know, there, there's just no reward for merit. You know what I mean? So whatever you can do, if you like this content, if you could like this video, share it, subscribe, comment, whatever it may be, I will be very, very grateful. All right. Yeah, I did not. I did not want to do this, but I have no choice. All right. Now, what we're doing today is going to be a little different from my normal reading. Since we're doing a yearly overview, I will be looking at all 12 houses in your natal chart and um, every single house in um, your birth chart represents a particular theme. And if you don't know what each house stands for, I will be explaining the significance as and when I'm pulling the cards and I'm using the tarot of the light and the shadow. So the shadow aspect is going to tell us what we need to leave behind in 2022 and the light aspect will tell us what we need to celebrate and embrace. All right, Aquarius. Now your first house, this is your identity ruled by Aries. And this is the energy you bring forth when you enter a room for the first time. All right. This could even be your physical appearance. Oh, <laughs> the lovers in shadow. Interesting. I'm going to need another one. The knight of swords in shadow. Very Gemini energy. Um, okay. So the lovers, as we know, is Gemini energy. And the knight of swords, as we know, mm -hmm. is air energy. We are talking about the entire year, but we are starting this year with Mars in retrograde in Gemini, all right, which makes us irritable. It makes us angry. It makes our speech incoherent and it just gives us a lot of energy that we don't know what to do with. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So I feel what you are leaving behind is not just disappointments when it comes to love, but disappointments when it comes to communication not going your way and disappointments maybe even in yourself it's possible that you flew off the handle a couple of times right uh, in 2022 you may have had conversations where you didn't like how you expressed yourself and you didn't like how other people express themselves so there is a coherence coming about there is some kind of clarity that is coming about now beautiful six of wands there is success now what is the six of wands the six of wands um comes after the five of wands what is the five of wands conflict right it is some kind of competition the knight of swords can also be very competitive so if you felt like you were a part of a rat race where you feel like you you were being pushed to accomplish something pushed to do something because it was expected of you i'm almost feeling like not only are you superseding people's expectations you will be superseding your own Okay, the six of wands is also being in the limelight. This is getting the right kind of attention from the right kind of people. So again, when it comes to love, I feel like if you were attracting idiots, um, you're going to be attracting people who truly bring out the best in you and help you shine. Some of you may even be famous or you may be maybe becoming famous. Oh, I said famous, sun and Leo. What is Leo? Superstar energy. 
yeah some of you are being seen in a beautiful light what did i say about this is the energy that you bring forth when you enter a room for the first time right so you're entering forth some of you may be wearing a lot of yellow this year it's possible but i feel like you're being seen as not just of the protagonist in your own movie but maybe the protagonist in someone else's because we do have the lovers right here and again fortune riches wealth fame success what a great start i'm a very cut and dry reader okay i don't make shit up so if i'm saying that this is a beautiful start believe it's a beautiful start okay now your second house aquarius now the second house is ruled by taurus and this is your personal income okay this is what brings you that sense of financial independence and security and comfort leaving behind the emperor oh wow capricorn had a similar energy but it was in their eighth house uh some of you may be on the cusp because the second and the eighth are quite closely related because your second house is your personal income and the eighth house is other people's income that affects you other people's money right and we have the wheel of fortune in the light wow wow do have the two of cups at the bottom just saying listen with the emperor in shadow this is aries energy and the emperor in shadow could be a couple of things now this could be an archetype that you may have embodied okay the emperor in shadow is someone who misuses authority who misuses their their sense of control who can be out of control okay this could be somebody who wants to boss up but just is not being able to this could even just be a boss it could be a very um controlling manipulative boss okay someone who is not there to guide you but more so to control you right this could even be um some kind of father grandfather archetype that that tries to control your destiny tries to control what you do for a living or you know you can't do this you were born in a family of lawyers or born in a family of doctors you have to be a doctor you know what i'm saying but with the wheel of fortune i feel like you're surrendering you're not surrendering to this control you're surrendering to the control of the universe because you realize that you do create your own reality and there is a cosmic force that is working hand in hand with you no emperor or empress no gender in tarot can control your future the wheel of fortune showing up in the second house in the light is blessings is abundance is fortune is the wheel turning in your favor and again if you're hoping for a promotion you were hoping for a raise or a bonus or anything like that and it didn't come about there was no reward for merit like i said things are changing stunning energy aquarius escape exactly you're escaping that oh my god this is insanely cohesive would you look at this excuse the drill i don't know how loud it is for you you see that that for me is the chariot who rides the chariot the emperor okay and a shadow emperor can crash that chariot it is a directionless journey and you're escaping this you're creating your own path in 2023 and i wouldn't expect anything else of you aquarius i mean you may be a humanitarian but you're the most individualistic eccentric authentic and beautiful sign of the zodiac you are the mad scientist you create your own journey i see you doing that you're creating a beautiful new source of income for yourself and even if it's not a new source of income i feel like you're injecting some kind of originality of your own spirit in this you know what i mean not not being a sheep in the herd escaping that herd mentality escaping social constructs stunning wow all right third house ruled by gemini this talks about communication wisdom intelligence intellect humor travel conversations all of that lovely stuff we are starting the year with the mercury retrograde oh nice and mercury rules gemini so the year may not start off with a bang but it will get better i promise you're escaping incoherence what did i say right here 
The seven of cups is literally the energy of speaking to somebody for an hour and feeling like you gained nothing from that conversation because so many topics were touched upon and nothing was mastered. Does that make sense? It's like you're, you're speaking to somebody, you are coming about with this very deep concept of life and death, let's say, right? And the person after every five minutes says, oh, how's the weather there? Oh, it's really cold here. You know what I mean? So it's like where there needs to be depth, there was small talk. And it's also possible that your energy was diverted into empty cups. Your energy was being diverted to speak to people who weren't really giving you anything but confusion in return. Right? Incoherence. Oh, wow. Nine of cups. Aquarius, this, this reading is uh, phenomenal. Let me just say that. I thought Capricorn had the best reading before you, but uh, I think you're, you're the winner right here. The Nine of Cups is a wish fulfilled. Like I said earlier, if you feel like your conversations with people will, will be leaving you feeling empty and wanting for more, that's changing with the Nine of Cups. It's like your wishes are being fulfilled. People are filling your cups. People are not just telling you what you want to hear. You know but it's just like your communications are just like every conversation you will have this is a long shot but it's almost like every conversation you will have will be a wish fulfilled you will put that phone down or, or sign off on that email with, with joy in your heart that oh that was a job well done that was that was wholesome you know what i mean for some of you even if, if, if you were feeling very confused when it came to matters of the heart and you felt like there was blocked communication or there was confusion that is changing with the nine of cups there is a wish that is being fulfilled and it may even come through travel it may come through post like by mail you know some of you maybe may have applied to university to multiple universities right and the one that you actually wanted to get into is the one that you hear back from it could be like a million different things but oh yeah i need an oracle card for that excuse me mercury retrograde <laughs> Shadows already affecting me. Or, pff, wow. Oof, I can't, Aquarius. This reading is too beautiful. Mercury in Aquarius. You are an Aquarius. This is the sign that is ruled by Mercury. The conversations and communications that you will be having will be authentic. They will be original. They will not be conversations about the weather. Unless you're a weather man or a weather woman, of course but they will be so wholesome. The people that you're going to be interacting with will be so individualistic and strong within their own personalities that you will not have to um, smooth things over just to sound, you, you won't have to dumb yourself down. Does that make sense? You won't have to dumb yourself down to talk to these people because they're so intelligent in their, in their own right. Love it. Some of you may even be in um, the public eye in the sense of you may be public speakers, motivational speakers. You may have a YouTube channel and the content that you're creating now is, is very, very authentic and very original to your being. Beautiful. All right. Fourth house talks about it's ruled by cancer and it talks about your home, your family roots, your ancestry, whatever brings you. How many is that? No, whatever brings you comfort and nourishment. I'm already pulling too many cards, so I'm trying not to take flippers so I can just pull one manually for each house. Ten of Wands, you know how much I love to see this, Aquarius? Hang on, this candle. I can't use normal candles, I can't use LED candles, nothing is, is staying. I guess that's significant because, well, we just had the winter solstice and we are moving into a new year. So we're bound to experience a little bit of darkness. Speaking of darkness... Ten of Wands. This is you escaping some kind of burden. You do too much, Aquarius. I always say that in every single one of your readings. Even though you're individualistic, you very seriously take your you 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 take your role in society, in your community very seriously. And you take on other people's burdens. So while you're maintaining your independence and your freedom, you almost feel like it is your responsibility to take on other people's loads but i see you leaving that behind thank the lord i also feel on the home front if you were the one doing all the chores you were the one who was picking up all all the pieces basically helping your entire family you're setting that load down and the king of pentacles 
wow you are stabilizing yourself for a change instead of helping stabilize other people i'm going to get one more but the king of pentacles you know could also be a partner no gender in tarot king of cups wow capricorn had a very similar energy if you're on the cusp i would go see that um reading with two kings here no gender in tarot please remember that you could be attracting a partner who can help you take on these burdens who can help you with this heavy lifting two kings right here that is beautiful someone with a lot of love with a lot of stability who comes in who you can build a home with so you don't have to do everything by yourself <laughs> independence <laughs> don't worry you will still have your independence there's no codependency here i'm not getting that and you know i'm not going to get another card i feel like you will still be able to maintain your individualistic spirit and your authenticity but the king of cups and the king of pentacles they are both for me they mirror each other they're very similar energies right i had told capricorn the same thing um i feel like they are very emotionally stable people so whoever this is they are not going to take away from from that hyper independence that most aquarians are born with they are just going to complement your energy not take away from it stunning reading wow all right aquarius fifth house ruled by leo this is about romance creativity your hobbies passion and passions and children whatever brings you joy casual dating as well we have the queen of cups in the shadow <laughs> i really like that i really like that okay let's get you the light before i say anything else we have the four of pentacles i need one more here you know the queen of cups in shadow can be very misguided love knight of swords um and the magician at the bottom of the deck you have a lot of gemini energy you did have the knight of swords right here as well now like i was saying the queen of cups in shadow can be somebody with a lot of um artificial love you see that ghost right here um someone else had this energy in the same house i can't remember who so if you felt that you were ghosted right the knight of swords can represent that as well it can be somebody who comes in delivers a message and then you never hear from them again okay so if you felt like there were disappointments when it came to matters of the heart and you felt like you had to shut yourself off with the four of pentacles you had to close your heart up with the knight of swords i feel like there's going to be movement again i'm almost getting like in that part of your brain where where you process romantic love there were cobwebs right but there's this ray of sunshine that's just dissipating that those cobwebs the knight of swords in the light is someone who is very forthright very direct who does not leave you feeling confused okay it is somebody who delivers facts and you would appreciate that being an air sign i'm going to get and again that's that's conversations that's movement that's taking me back to your third house a fair i love it okay a fair sounds really uh kind of uh, taboo uh, when we say it out loud but in this particular deck a fair is not a bad card because and again would you look at that we have venus in leo this house is ruled by leo venus rules love do i need to say more so all of this was 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 looking a little too practical for for, for a cancerian like me but i almost feel like there's a whole lot of passion and a whole lot of love and romance that will be injected into your life where you'll be able to open up your heart again queen of cups in shadow can also be your own archetype where you just you close yourself up to love there is somebody coming in who's going to open you back up again i love it fireworks i'm getting fireworks aquarius okay sixth house ruled by virgo this is about your health your day to day routine your schedule leaving behind the seven of wands i need one more the page of swords i feel like you may have uh I feel like there was something that you knew you had to do for your health but you were just rebelling against it you were making up excuses to not do it I don't know what this is four of swords yeah yeah you were oh wow okay some of you may have even been ignoring um healing in the sense that you may have some kind of chronic illness and it could be anything okay 
and you may have just thought that okay now this is part of my life this is just how my body works and you weren't progressing towards healing but i see you doing that now some of you may even be um with the seven of wands you may have been doing too much like i said in your fourth house um and you weren't giving yourself enough time you know to meditate breathe and just king of wands oh you weren't being able to follow your own passions and i feel like you were constantly just helping other people you were helping other people heal other people grow other people evolve and you weren't standing up for yourself now the king of wands again could be your energy or you, it could be you see you have three kings already in the light i feel like this is an outside influence this is someone who comes in wow seven of wands in the light i'm taking it i don't care i don't care i'm taking it the seven of wands in the light and the seven of wands in the shadow you know what i'm getting this is somebody who stands up for you and teaches you how to stand up for yourself and your health if you have been ignoring this could honestly <laughs> even be a trainer it could be someone who just whacks you on the head and asks you to follow that routine follow that diet follow that exercise regime that is going to better your health i'm almost feeling like you kept telling yourself i don't have time for that i have so many responsibilities to help with that you need to focus on yourself aquarius high time and this is someone who's going to give you that voice if you haven't been speaking up for yourself isolation i feel like you need that you need a little bit of isolation and order yeah exactly you need peace from isolation i'm not getting like oh my god i'm hermitizing myself i'm getting isolation of energy that energy needs to be ordered and focused and organized into your own being so that you can heal whatever it is that you're trying to heal from and this is beautiful because this is literally moon in virgo you have two sixes in the sixth house are you kidding me you have saturn and the moon in virgo what is saturn discipline order you know what aquarius you are absorbing too much you're absorbing other people's crap you need to start isolating your energy and focusing on yourself a little bit you're going to wear yourself thin you're going to wear yourself uh, yourself out like this there's something that you need to focus on you need to start making a to-do list for yourself not other people's chores you know what i mean all right seventh house juicy stuff this is ruled by libra oh wow very loud horn ruled by libra this talks about your commitments long term commitments partnerships business partnerships or romantic and um yeah well love and marriage leaving behind the eight of cups you left something behind literally and you've truly left it behind this time you're not going back king of cups in shadow at the bottom you have the king of cups in light i feel like there was some kind of illusion uh associated with a romantic partner and i almost feel like their energy was still lingering that disappointment of of that ending of that separation was still lingering in your psyche but i feel like you're leaving th that residue also behind those remnants also behind and you're embracing temperance you're embracing patience and the three of pentacles you know you may just uh you may just start um seeing someone from your social group with the three of pentacles or even someone that you work with it is possible but i feel like whatever it is that you have walked away from has opened your energy up with temperance so people can actually pour love into you uh what happens is imagine your heart to be a cup a chalice right any emotion good or bad fills that cup up okay so if your heart is full of love that cup is full of love if your heart is full of pain that cup is full of pain regardless people can't pour into it okay so i'm almost feeling like when that residual loss and pain is removed that loss that 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 pain of separation is removed that cup is finally empty again for people to pour into it that cup is finally empty enough not empty i don't want to say that cuz we fill our own cups right i get that we love ourselves right our cups are never really empty but there's always that little bit that we that we leave it's like how you always leave uh, leave a room for dessert right so there's always a little bit of room left for someone else to come in and just fill us up completely 
right so i feel like you you are leaving that little bit of room for someone to come in and for someone to collaborate with you so you could meet this person um at a social gathering or you could even meet them at work but someone who wants to build romance you can't make this up venus in taurus taurus energy is stable it is grounded it is king of pentacles energy and venus is king of cups energy you can't make this up there is someone coming in my friend who is not just emotionally stable they are financially stable and they are spiritually stable as well and they will make you so as well oh wow beautiful year for love you have affair and romance i love it i always feel like some of you may just want to escape this and be like ah uh, no 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 i don't want to my 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 independence will be taken over i don't think so eighth house ruled by scorpio this is um stuff that we don't speak about in polite society this talks about death debt taxes intimacy other people's money the occult and all of that wonderful stuff three of swords you're leaving behind some kind of pain when it relates to this you may have been betrayed by someone someone may have taken advantage of you whether this was physically okay I'm sorry if this triggers someone but it needs to be said out loud because this is a very deep dark house it is plutonian hades energy this is the underworld right this is the shadow aspect of our life so if you were taken advantage of whether this was intimately or even financially that pain is being left behind I don't know if you are forgiving but you are forgetting you're embracing the wisdom that has come from this with the hermit card it has made you wiser beyond your years and you're embracing the 7 of pentacles knowing exactly who you invest in now so you don't regret it i feel like you may have invested in the wrong people aquarius emotionally physically financially uh but i'm almost feeling like now with the 7 of pentacles these are wise investments that will bear fruit you've gained that wisdom through this pain ostentation you you're not taking people on face value anymore is what i feel saturn and taurus you are digging deeper because exact that is what this house is and that is what the hermit does he digs deeper status again not taking people on face value things may seem glittery and shiny on the surface patience yeah you are digging deeper it's like peeling an onion <clears throat> you are going through people's layers one at a time before you you make your decision to invest in them I like that. Conscientious. All right, 10 um I'm sorry, where were we? 9th house. Ruled by Sagittarius. This talks about your spirituality, whatever broadens your horizons. It could be travel, religion, um anything that creates the essence of your life basically, the theme of your life. The page of pentacles. I don't know why the serpents are made like wands it confuses me but wands are different all right you are escaping the page of wands i'm going to get one more ace of cups in the shadow wow there's a lot of like disappointments in love that you are leaving behind that's bleeding into every single house of yours <sighs> love it 10 of swords in the light one more Ah, <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles. Listen, with the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups in the shadow, I feel like some people completely change the trajectory of your life. Okay, and I truly feel like for a lot of you, pain changed, made you change course. Some of you may have even moved for love physically. Some of you may have. completely changed your philosophy of life and love because of a relationship but what you are doing now is with the 10 of swords like i say always every 10 in the tarot is a graduation right because you've done you've repeated that grade 10 times you've learned that lesson you're ready to take that those lessons forward and build a new life for yourself so with the page of pentacles i feel like whatever was slow to come in when it came to matters of the heart where you felt like your heart wasn't being filled up it you weren't fulfilled you are with patience here as well everything is bleeding into each other you are uh, embracing the journey i feel like you're not even looking forward to a particular destination 
right this could even you becoming a nomad in terms of i just want to travel the world right i want to broaden my horizons screw love screw everything i just want to experience myself right and again you're enjoying the journey i feel like the minute we start putting a destination to life is when we start joining that rat race that i was talking about you are embracing freedom and you're embracing a what do you call it that real dolce far niente the sweetness of doing nothing that's what i'm getting here i feel like that is the energy you're embracing because you've done so much already and i feel like you you've you've run yourself ragged for the people that you loved but now you just want to like be in dolce far niente and just do nothing <laughs> i have never gotten that before and it's making me emotional i don't know why and that that is when you surrender right and when you surrender blessings coming come in that's that's just how the universe works decision and this was difficult for you to do i feel embracing that escape almost quarrel you may have had to fight with a whole lot of people to embrace this freedom charity saturn in cancer but you're not really giving a shit eventually are you feel like you are looking out for yourself finally aquarius and you're being generous with yourself wow i really like this all right 10th house ruled by capricorn talks about your career your income your public image the king of wands in the shadow one more six of wands in the shadow yeah i feel like you remember what i said when it came to your second house as well because these houses are very closely connected um again reward for merit there was no reward for merit there was no recognition i'm sorry was it your first house i can't recall but again i feel like with the king of wands you were so passionate about this you were giving your all to this whatever this was uh but with the six of wands i feel like you did not see that victory and that recognition that you had wanted in the past two of wands and so what you're doing now is you are successfully leaving something behind and building something new two of wands four of wands high priestess at the bottom of the deck and you're being very quiet about it i see you formulating a blueprint for success in 2023 this could be you starting a new business this could be you joining a new company but you know what i'm getting the four here indecision wanted to show itself with practicality i feel like so so the four right here represents permanence okay the four walls of a house the four cardinal directions the four seasons something that is predictable and reliable i'm almost feeling like uh what was expected of you is not what you are doing you are doing something completely different but something that is stable for you you know what i mean and what that is going to do is because it is practical for you it's going to make it very very sustainable you thrive in 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 eccentricities aquarius whether you like it or you don't i love that about you it makes you so delightfully colorful okay i think you're embracing that color now you're leaving behind the mundane you're leaving behind something that was just a broken light bulb right you're moving towards the sun fortune creating something new creating something brand new inheritance ooh some of you may be inheriting something it is possible and making it your own maybe oh i'm not going to get another one i understand what this means you know what it's possible some of you may be inheriting a family business or something of the kind and you are putting your own spin on it you're putting your own originality on it and making it more practical for you it's possible that the way operations were run or whatever was outdated right so you are create almost like recreating this as your own baby or some of you are inheriting a lump sum of money possibly okay it may come out of nowhere but you're putting that to good use and creating something very stable for yourself and you may be even creating inheritances creating a legacy for your future generations you know i love that okay 11th house this wanted to show itself 
this is um, ruled by you Aquarius and this talks about the community we have the Queen of Wands in shadow at the bottom I will take her um, talks about your community your friendships your social groups with the two of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands again I feel like you were juggling you were juggling too much when it came to um, I don't know why people honk it drives me bonkers Queen of Wands I feel like this could also be honestly someone who could be very fake around you you know someone who pretended to have your back someone who may have pretended to share your 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 difficulties you know share your burdens and I, let me help you with that like they'd say that oh you know tomorrow I, I, oh, I'll take you to the doctor tomorrow you know and they just wouldn't show up that's that's the energy I'm getting so that that is something that you are leaving behind yeah five of pentacles you're leaving people out in the cold I feel like you're not giving a shit anymore you're done being little miss or mr. nice guy or girl <laughs> page of pentacles page of pentacles cosmic mirror you know what I'm pulling so many cards for you it's ridiculous I feel Aquarius you are finally realizing that the people you invite into your life are a reflection of you okay I'm not saying you're fake I am saying that if you keep abandoning yourself with the five of pentacles okay like I have been saying you haven't been looking after your own needs if you keep abandoning your own needs you are going to attract people friendships that are going to keep abandoning you as well and that is something that you are going to be studying very deeply that is something you will be understanding very deeply this year and with the page of pentacles I feel like you are learning you are studying aspects of yourself that you may want to start changing in order to attract better people into your life rebellion and protection I feel Aquarius that with rebellion now this is Mars in your sign Mars in uh, Aquarius and then we have moon in Aries I feel that there are certain people in your environment who speak just for the sake of speaking okay there are people in your environment that their brain may just be full of, of rubbish but they make themselves sound very eloquent they make themselves sound very um, they, they, they almost preach you know what I mean very self-righteous energy is what I'm getting from the rebellion card but I'm almost feeling like now you're protecting yourself from these energies with the five of pentacles as well you're not afraid to shut the door on these people's faces you're protecting your aura I like that all right let's talk about your 12th house ruled by Pisces this is your spirituality your subconscious mind and your dream world beautiful what a perfect card to get in this position the high priestess I feel like you're you're coming out of a time where you didn't trust your intuition where you were functioning from a 3d place what was that the Queen of Wands I feel like you there was this this mindless chatter in your subconscious mind that you may have been inheriting from other people embracing the five of cups um, you may have inherited some kind of pain and loss from other people the tower I love it what is the tower man it is it is a spiritual awakening I am getting so much growth from pain in this reading it is blowing my mind it is literally blowing my mind and is blowing your crown chakra off your head um, what is that that's the fall of ego these two figures falling it is the fall of ego I feel like you've I'm not saying you've been egoistic I'm saying that sometimes we, we enter a very prideful state and we start functioning from that place, right? But I feel like you're not functioning from, from pride or ego at all. I feel like something may have happened in your life, some kind of loss, some kind of pain that has humbled you. And that, that kind of, well, being humble, that energy of being humbled is, is making you awaken to your spirituality. It's making you awaken to your intuition. And this is going to come out of nowhere. I need to get you an oracle card. Empathy. Moon in Pisces. High Priestess is Moon in Pisces. You are embracing your intuition, my friend. You are embracing empathy. You are finally being able to help your community without being, without absorbing their crap without getting sucked into other people's 
drama you are being able to and you will be able to maintain your independence and still lend that empathetic ear there there is some kind of awakening happening here for you aquarius and i absolutely love it you're the third sign to have gotten this card and i love it happy happy it's going to be a happy 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 year for you aquarius i would look forward to it just preserve your strength preserve your energy for yourself please be empathetic be loving be kind and generous like you are but preserve yourself and trust your intuition all right that was it for you aquarius i hope this helped i will see you in the next one bye bye